<laughs> hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, you go funny and we are Funny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and yeah, so before we even start the video guys, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. You guys are super amazing. Thank you for getting us to, you know, close to 20,000 subscribers. Although we are almost there. We need to get to 20,000. I hope we're gonna get there soon, soon enough. I want to thank the loyal um, subscribers. subscribers that have been here for a while. And if you're new, we're funny in Jesse. We do all kind of reaction videos. Just let us know in the comment section. Drop a link and we're going to do it for you. And what else? I mean, just enjoy. We're here to entertain you guys. We learn together and we make sure that you're fully covered when it comes to understanding, entertained, and um, just trying to understand our perspective about what we react on. Anyway, today we're going to do another reaction video. This one right here was suggested by one of our fans and it suggested that we should go react to what happens to the body when you fast. It's very important because I'm fasting also. And yeah, so let's hear. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get it. <laughs> what happens to your body when you fast during Ramadan? During the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from sunrise till sunset every day of the lunar month. The Ramadan fast can be a natural and effective way for the body to detox and revitalize itself. But this can only happen if you follow a healthy eating plan and do not overindulge for iftar. Try your best to avoid processed and fried foods this month. Since we only have a few hours available to eat and drink, it's very important that we make the food we eat really count. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water and avoid things that contain caffeine which will dehydrate your body and make you feel very thirsty during the fasting hours. We know Ramadan is a very busy time, so most of us tend to cut back on sleeping hours to make more time for good deeds which is amazing. But make sure you are getting a minimum of 6 hours of sleep daily. If you don't get your minimum hours, you could become very lazy in Salah and Quran time and that's the last thing we want. Also, please keep in mind that oversleeping will also make you lazy and less productive. So balance is the key. Here's a breakdown of what happens to your body when you fast in each stage of the 30 days of fasting. Stage 1. During the first couple of days of fasting, both blood sugar level and blood pressure drop. The body starts the cleansing process and the first few days are the hardest as they are usually accompanied with headaches, dizziness, nausea and intense hunger. Stage 2. During the second stage, the body becomes accustomed to the fasting schedule and the digestive system is able to rest. The digestive system focuses its energy on cleansing the body and healing the cells as the white blood cells in the body start to become more active. During this stage, the organs start their repair process as well. Stage 3 By the third stage, energy levels will have increased, your mind is able to concentrate better and an overall feeling of wellness overtakes you. During fasting, the body's healing process becomes a lot more efficient and so the body repairs any damaged cells during this stage. During this stage, the colon, liver, kidney, lungs, and skin are detoxing by eliminating toxins. Stage 4 During the last 10 days of fasting in Ramadan, the body has become accustomed to the fasting process. Your body becomes more energetic and you experience improved memory and concentration. At this stage, the organs are finishing up their healing process and once all toxins are removed, the body is able to function at its maximum capacity. These are just some of the physical benefits of fasting that will take place within the body. But the spiritual benefits this month are far greater than anything mentioned here. <laughs> What do you think about the whole fasting thing? I thought you'd have more to say for this song. 
Yeah, we I have more, it. but I feel like it didn't. Uh, it didn't put all the uh, important things. But I, uh, I think. No, I feel like well. sometimes you have to pick something you want to focus on. Do you understand? Yeah. So I feel like that's what he was focused on with this video. But I, I, I was thinking, how do like people manage? That's still. I don't know. I just feel to wrap my head around that. How do people manage? If you've got work, how are you managing? If you've got school, university, how do you go about your day? I, I you know, the, the thing is, you just have to get yourself used to it. Number one. Number two, it's all about the mind. <clears throat> the mind is actually, it's everything. You know, the stomach sends a signal to the to the brain and the brain actually tells you that you're hungry you understand so let's put it this way if the stomach sends that signal to the brain and your brain uh you've trained your brain not to feel that hunger then you're good to go so the mind is very powerful you can channel your mind not to actually feel hungry at some certain points and whatnot but still for you to get used to that you need to be very 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 um, having some strong mind and stuff like that. I mean, the pe people oh, no. people manage it because of I think that transitioning of you know when you talked about the first stage, you start feeling some it some dizziness, nice. headache, and all this kind of stuff. Once you pass that stage, I feel you you have already overcome the hard. You understand? So your body already understands. Mm -hmm. You understand? So whenever it, you feel hungry, the body knows that okay, this is a normal thing. I've encountered it just you had a few few days. Honestly, and respect you people that do this <clears throat> and I admire you very, very much. At the end of the day, I feel like the benefits are worth it. They're very actually. Very, very they have numerous benefits actually. Very because it's if first organs of all, it are renewing themselves yeah. or repairing themselves, whatever the case is. It's like do very, uh, very toxifying your body, you know, you're removing all the toxic. And then Toxic you're stuff them, and yeah, and your tissues are becoming like they're repairing itself. Coming new again, like yeah. brand new. So that should work out well. So your blood levels, your sugar levels go down, your pressure, Which blood pressure great. go down, and then you um, it's like you have a totally new body. But I feel like if people continue doing it, not only for a month, it's mm -hmm. good to do it for a month, but. If you make it like your daily uh, way of living, you understand? Okay, you can be drinking water, not like fully, uh, we call it like um, stone cold fasting, you know, when you go for like without eating, you know. If you, I mean, just make it like your lifestyle throughout your life, just eat once, then try to drink water in between. You understand? For the rest of your life? Yeah, it can be that. There are people who do that I for the rest of their lives. You like, know? I feel like people don't just, um, it doesn't matter what religion, because at some point people gather to fast, yeah? Mm -hmm. I feel like people don't just rely on that one time they have to fast with the group. Yeah, I think yeah, probably exactly. some, some people some out there that reasons. are like, okay, every Friday I'll be fasting. Yes, yes, yes. Especially Christians, we fast every Fridays. Oh, they do? Every Friday. They do. Um, and then there's other people that are going to say, okay, I'll be taking out one week every month yeah. to fast. Some people, I think, it's more like they they are doing it for for a reason, you know. People want to fast because they want to manifest uh, for the spiritual, for part the spiritual of stuff. purposes. They want to manifest on something. So you know, when you fast, you deny yourself. Um, are you really denying yourself something? Yeah, it's like you're denying yourself the worldly things. Yeah, the world is so it actually humbles you down. It pressures like, it, it yeah, pushes like you down. Found, not found it, what word can I use? It's like it, it grounds you, you. Yeah, it grounds you to a point where you reach a level where you feel like um what do you call this? You feel more equally than um maybe people who are going through the same thing. You know the people who don't even eat. You understand there are people who haven't seen food for years not years i mean for, for for days so if you're at that stage 
again you become so vulnerable again you become uh, i mean it humbles you down as a man do you understand so you as a man or as a woman so you end up probably <clears throat> if you ask for anything um i mean if you pray for something i think the the the, the gates are actually opened for you mm. i think so you understand other Possibly. than you're, you're full and then you want to pray for exactly you want to pray for when you're too full you know? you doze off. exactly what you were saying like you have to uh, when you're fasting make sure you have enough sleep so that when it comes to six yeah, six, yes. about six. I think six I feel hours, like six, six is enough. And then, so that you know, I mean, it's it's really really good. But there are a lot of benefits of fasting. Actually, lots of benefits, spiritually and unspiritually. You know, just your body. Your body is is a is a, is a really good mechanism. Actually, yeah. That's so, mm -hmm. so if there's something that you guys want us to, you have to drop the link down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces. Take care, guys. Can you go for me, please?